Hey Rachel. Oh hey Macaulay. What's up? Alright, so last night I found out about this cool science experiment online and I thought, why not share it with you today? Oh sure. What is it? Well, first of all it involves a potato and a straw. But no, wait. What I want you to try to do is to try to pierce this straw into this potato. Wanna give you a shot? Yeah. Sounds easy enough, but let's make this a little more interesting. What do I get if I can do it? Well, if you can do it, I'll give you five ringgit. Five? No. Ten. Ten? No. Eight. I still say ten. Nine. Nine. Nine fifty. Fine, dude. Deal. Wait. I don't have 50 cents. Oh, neither do I. 10 it is. 10. Yes. 10. 10. Okay, are you ready? Ready when you are. Start. Okay. It's not going in. What? Come on. 10 rigid is at stake here. Well, I know, I know. Just. You know, I think I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm getting there. Wait. <laughs> what? What? It's, uh, it's, it's impossible. You can't do it. Well, you can do it, but it's okay. Sorry to say you lost and you owe me 10 ringgit instead. But anyway, that doesn't matter. You want to see how I do it? Yeah. Okay. Watch and learn. No. Huh? This, how is this even possible? Um, well, it's pretty simple once you know how it works. All you need to know is how to hold the straw. <laughs> yeah, uh, Charlotte's right, actually, because you can actually pierce the straw into the potato simply by placing your thumb over one end of the straw. Easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what does that have to do with anything? See, by placing your thumb over one end of the straw, you're actually trapping the air inside it. The compressed air then makes the straw strong enough to pierce the potato with ease. But without your thumb covering the end of the straw, air is simply pushed out of the straw, causing it to crumple and bend as you try to pierce it into the potato. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I see now. That's really cool, guys. But do you want to see something cooler? Sure. What is it? Okay. I dare one of you to blow up this balloon without picking it up from the bottom. Oh, that should be easy. Let me try. It's not inflating. Mm, I don't think you're doing it right. Yeah, you try. Okay. Oh, it's not so, so easy now, is it? Oh, you know, I think there's something wrong with this. There must be a hole or something. Yeah, with the balloon. Rachel. What did you do? No, I didn't do anything to the balloon, guys. Okay. Here, look. This? Is the exact same model as the one just now. Mm -hmm. The only difference is I have poked a hole in this one. Okay. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> How do you do that? Well, since the balloon is covering the mouth of the bottle, no air can escape the bottle. So no matter how hard you try to blow the balloon, it won't inflate because all the space inside the bottle is already occupied by air. Oh, so you're saying by poking a hole through the bottle, it will allow all the air inside the bottle to escape, giving room for the balloon to expand? Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Now I know more than I did yesterday. Me too. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, guys, have you seen my phone in here? No, okay. no, 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 sorry. No, oh, know. by the way, what were you doing behind that sofa in the first place? What just happened? Oh, you still owe me 10 ringgit. Pay up. Oh my gosh, it's a shooting star. Where? It's daytime. Where did she go? All right, fine. I'm out of here too. I found it. Guys? 